So here we are coming up to the woods. Let's see what awaits us in there. Oh, there's a wind voice. They tend to be pretty good for finding uh, new spells. I'm not sure if we have the tray for them to get a good spell, but you can see. Wind's favourite clem. I'm Hitchum, wind voice student of Rivenleaf University. I'm pursuing a subject of study concerning wind's movement along the old roads. It has come to my attention that the major roads do in some way have a small effect on the winds themselves. Most notably in the thick forests of the deep lands, but also here to the lesser degree it does carry an impact. I can share my learnings if you offer me something suitable in return. Wind's blessings, Clem. Yes, we've already got that one. I'm loving the little fireflies, they are so cute. Now we're really in the thick of it. Oh, I meant to go up the bridge, not in the water. There's me not looking where I'm clicking. Now we're wet. Lovely. Oh, we've got a fire over here we can sort out. Oh, what's this? Remorseful spell weaver. Oh, hello there. Be a dear, won't you, and help me find my husband. He's hiding somewhere around here close by. Okay, why is your husband hiding? Oh, it's one of those little things, isn't it? Yeah, cute little buggers. No fireplace there. Ah, here's the fireplace. Let's get these clothes nice and dry. That's better. So, we have a hiding husband. Where's he hiding, though? They said somewhere nearby, so I wouldn't think it'd be too hard to find them. I think I hear people this way. Oh, look at the deer. Get some fruit. It's always good to have some apples. Well, so far the woods seem rather quiet, other than a couple that seem to have some differences. Got some more pears. Ooh, stash. Not across water, but maybe if we're quick enough, we can avoid getting fully wet. Ooh, that's a nice veil. At least it is for armour. Let's see. Ah, it's the same one. We have a waiter's veil and just a normal veil. Except ours is actually better. Oh, I don't know. This one gives uh, sociality, but minus one physical. Whereas this one does nothing. Um, I think given a choice, we're better off having the one that actually gives stats, even though it does negate one stat. Because we can always take it off if needed. think we managed to avoid getting wet. So if you, you just dip in and out, you should be okay. No sign of this husband, though. But we do have a few good bits of uh, trade items now. The problem is deciding which piece of clothing I want to give up a lot of the time. Oh, load of little fireflies around here. Oh, 
Well, her husband doesn't appear to be around here particularly. So let's try this side. Ooh, a stone. Do we have the physicality? Three. We do not. I think we can push it up one, which isn't really going to give us much, but it might let us do one or two endeavours. Who's this? Nervous Mystic Maid. Well, you don't look like you're going to be a threat. Kitty cat. Oh, only a kitty. Don't be scared. Oh, I can hear it purring. Here's some one occupied person. Oh, there's one of these cute little things. Hey cutie. I wish I could do something with you. Yeah, definitely here's someone this way. Oh, I could at least get some apples. Yeah, I can maybe trade them. have here oh little birdies you should be asleep so here I was saying no we won't venture away from the roads that'll be a bit too dangerous and I'm just venturing away from the roads still no sign of this uh, husband though ah we're back to the mill well let's try this way oh blend of bigger what's this plus one endurance Sure. Let's have some tea before we go back out into the dark, searching for a lost husband. Let's see what this way has to hold for us. The children are obviously currently sleeping, but when they do come back in the morning, we have a nail for them. Another wormy apple. I don't really want wormy apples. Give us the good stuff. Nice crisp apples. Hello, little one. Sorry, I can't give you something to eat. Oh, dear. No, looks like everybody's taken the good apples. Not seeing anything around here. Ooh, loot stash there. Okay, let's get across the water quick. Ah, not a loot stash. Looks like I found where the squirrels are hiding all their nuts. Still no missing husband. I think we're going to have to just call it quits on him. Yeah, I'd say this has been rather a nice, pleasant, quiet walk in the woods. There we go, there's some nice apples. Yeah, I'm sorry miss, but I can't find him. I think I'm just going to have to leave her. Oh, come on, not in the water. You daft thing. Fine. Just have to be wet for a little bit. But we only took a dip, so we were already dry. Well, 
Well, I know where else we can have a, a little explore at night. We found a load of stuff out in that open plains area. So, let's see what goodies it has to offer at night. First, Delusional Brewmaster Apprentice. Do you believe in dreams, Wanderer? Ever since I tasted my last brew, I have been dreaming, open-eyed, of a place where golden reagents grow. These reagents do not get consumed by usage, but only wither in time. Just imagine how many brews I could make. I just need to find the place that matches my dream. I must go on. Ooh, that would be an interesting place now, wouldn't it? A little bit of fruit for the trip. Oof, not very tasty pears, but... Okay, what's down this way? Other than some more apples. Oh, more wormy apples. Ah, that's where we want to go. At least we can see a little bit better where we are going out here rather than in the woods. Let's make a nice little circuit round. Yes, these were all the stones were. Tangled branch. I think that was strength as well. I'm not sure how much though. Two. Can we push for two? No, we can only push for one. Never mind. Oh, look at the deer in the mist there. It's gorgeous. Oh, it has a little fawn with it. Oh, how adorable. Got a decent value. Oh, but we are all full up. Well, we could probably do some eating some stuff to get our energy up. Let's grab some mushy apples. Won't be worth much, but it's something. I am not eating the worm eaten apples, but I will eat pears. There we go. A little bit more space. going to have to loop round and head back soon. I just want to check the spot where I found those shoes last time. That was a very good find and I wouldn't mind if there were some other bits and pieces there. It was round these rocks I believe. No, we've got a fireplace. Thankfully reagents don't take space. But I'm not seeing a stash. So I think we're going to circle around and head back over to near. This area is known as the Burnings. May as well stick to the road, see if we can get our bonus. This pile of stones appears to have once been the cornerstone of a large building complex. A cracked and weathered furnace is all that remains of a once mighty structure, such streaks between the rocks as evidence of recent activity. Oh, I think I see someone over there. Ah, name's not highlighting. So I'm guessing they are not someone nice. So let's try a little bit of combat. We want to swap you out for you. And I think everything else is good. Oh, first let's get this loot. <laughs> let's see what we've got here. Ooh, old sputtering lantern. Now, can we add the lantern to this stick? 
No, but we can sell it off. Okay. Should we give it a go? I think we should give it a go. Nope. Yes, I'm going to refuse to pay. Ah, you've run away because I'm too strong. Oh, I like that. Well, we don't get our fight, but we've hopefully scared him off. Ooh, some more loot there. Mask of a tree mask. Um, I want it. Because we've got some not as nice items on us. We could eat something. Now we really do need to head back. Let's see what trades we can do in town. Ooh, another loot pile. Ah, there's too much to find. Crude wooden chest protection. Base value 29. Gives one ward. Now we don't have the ability to wear armour properly. But it's definitely good for trade. So, what can we get rid of that is not good? Yeah, let's get rid of the mushy pears. There we go. Let's go do some trading. Oh, we should probably swap back to our fisher's light so we can see what we're doing. Oh, it's all the goats. See, here's the bread merchant. She, uh, or he, tends to come around during the night hours. So then. Oh, hang on. I haven't got enough space, but I can still look what's here. Moth eaten shirts. Nothing particularly useful. Ooh, two speed. Three pockets. Holy. Okay, that is a sword. Three force, one ward, four burden though. What have we got? Only two force, but we do have two ward and three burden. I think I'd rather have the extra bit of ward. Now these items here, they're very much trade items. If you've got a lot of stuff you want to trade on, you trade it for these trade items and it makes it a bit easier to carry your wealth with you. Before we do, let's see what the other traders have. Ooh, spell merchant, cinema guys. Oh, these are the different colours. Interesting. This one has two speed and three pockets. Yeah, I would like to trade. It will give us a little bit more room. And we have the stuff, I think. This is just a plain veil. We've got a better one at the moment. Hmm. Oh, you, you quite like the leather headband, actually. Yeah, that only gives us speed. We can get that off other things. Yeah, that seems good. Now let's open our pocket and take our goat's feather out and stick it in here. Now, what to put in here? Let's put our bag of soil, because I think I, I don't know why, but I just think it could be useful for someone. And the vial of undying spirit. Yeah. Well, you're not particularly liking the clothing, but let's see if we can do some trading up. Another bag of soil. Stick that here. I'll take that at good price. Yes, this trader definitely likes his spices. Now we look at inventory. It's a lot more clear. Let's put these food items down here, pop our equipment over here. We've got a good trade item, it's not too expensive or too cheap, and I think that's a pretty good trade. 
and we may as well pick up this. Again, it's just a cheap trade, but it can be useful to have some very cheap ones just to make about. And I think we can call it a good night. If you've enjoyed this video, oh, hang on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, don't get out of the water, get out of the water. Mechanics, I know we've got quite a bit of things. So hold the phone, we are not getting off yet. I know we can buff the mechanics. Come on, what we got? Mechanics, plus one. There we go. And we've got it. What do we have? Small hand wheel and a small tombak flywheel. Some decent trade items there. So, as I was so rudely distracted, <laughs> I will bid you all a good night and I will see you on the morrow.